Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Brittany Dixon. I will be discussing my journey to becoming a scientist. My research interests primarily focus on public health, in particular understanding and improving the quality of life and health of individuals in underserved and vulnerable populations. I didn't always know that I wanted to become a scientist, but I knew that I wanted to help individuals in some way. My path to becoming a scientist was a little different. In undergrad, I actually majored in criminology because I thought that I wanted to become a lawyer and focus on healthcare policy and law. But I soon realized after I graduated that pursuing a career in law was something that I did not want to do. So I set out on this journey to try to understand and identify what it is that I really wanted to do with my career in life. The moment that I realized that I wanted to become a scientist uh, was a few years back when I was responsible for taking my grandfather to several doctor's appointments in our local community and then in a neighboring county that was 25 to 30 minutes away. I remember this moment because it was a hot and humid summer day in Florida and I was sitting in the primary care physician's office with my grandfather waiting for him to be called in for his appointment. And I just had this moment where I realized that the attention and the type of care that he received in our local community compared to the neighboring county was different and there were apparent differences. I was realizing this, I felt very frustrated, but I was also curious. And I kept thinking to myself that it was so unfair that the quality of care received in the county in which I grew up was subpar compared to the care and attention that was received in the neighboring county. So that was my aha moment of when I realized that I wanted to become a scientist and understand why there were differences in the county in which I grew up in the neighboring county. So I took all of these emotions and started Googling healthcare related fields and programs and I still happened to stumble upon public health. I hadn't heard of public health, but as I learned more about public health and that it focuses on improving population level health, I knew that it was something that I wanted to pursue and where I wanted my career to be headed. With my newfound interest in public health, I decided to apply to the Master of Public Health program at Florida State University, for which I was accepted. And following the completion of my Master of Public Health degree, I knew that I wanted to gain more in-depth knowledge and understanding of what factors may be influencing these differences between these two communities. And so I decided to apply to the PhD program in Public Health, Social and Behavioral Sciences concentration at the University of Florida, for which I was accepted. I recently completed my PhD program in public health and I have accepted a position as a clinical assistant professor in the Department of Health Services Research, Management and Policy in the College of Public Health and Health Professions here at the University of Florida. My path and journey have led me to where I am today into becoming a scientist. I hope that my story encourages and inspires students, especially students from underrepresented groups, including racial and ethnic minority groups, as well as anyone else, that despite any obstacles, barriers, or roadblocks faced, and even if your path starts different, that you too can overcome and accomplish and achieve your goals.